basically I have this box here that I need to incorporate this charger into and I will be putting it in some way or another and be able to still read the symbols on the display here including the LED and be able to actually push the buttons and set the voltages if needed. But currently what I need is this part here to be visible. It's worth mentioning if you're powering this fully out and pushing 5 amp through it you will get heat problems in this little box. The solar panel that I'm going to use for this is only rated for 1.5 amp or so and generally when the sun is out you get half an amp so it should be more than enough. And here we have all the gear set up. We have my blue speaker that I talked about earlier. You can charge it through here and it has a BMS inside. It's 12 volt maximum input. I have a solar panel that I did go through a little bit in an early episode. That will be the base of this setup. And I have this cheap MPPT charger that I converted that have now the plug for charging this one. And it also has an input plug. An input pl should be somewhere around 12 and a half volt to 30 volt. I do not recommend to go about 30 volt because that's the caps are rated at inside. I have this as well and this is basically for hooking up to a battery and be able to charge this. The solar panel also have the XT60 plug and so that works really really great. Before we go to the next step I just want to talk a little bit about this MPPT charger that I have put inside here. This is not a real MPPT charger um, it has a fixed MPPT point where you can set and to set the MPPT point you screw the left screw on the top here and by doing that it will be tracking down to that point if it need to. You can also set the output current and the output voltage. So it's a really really neat little device to bring with you for being able to output whatever you want. It can output from very low to rather high but it does not do any boast. And if you set the MPPT tracking point to higher than the input, it does not give any output either. So if you are running a solar panel, it will stop charging as soon as the solar panel goes below the tracking point. So that's one disadvantage of this small device. On the other hand, it's really nifty, it's really small. And for a project like this one, it's rather perfect in terms of the cost. So basically guys, I hope you enjoyed this very very short video where I built this little device. Uh, my use for this will mainly be to actually have it somewhere tucked around. So once again guys, thank you for watching and I see you next time. Bye.